Hello good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we are again talking about the carrier rework, um, this time from the point of view of the CVs, and just up front guys, I am not a carrier player, I was not a carrier player before, and I, just, if it keeps going the way it's been going for me, I'm not going to be a carrier player now. So, again, straight at the front, the only carrier I currently have is the tier 8 premium American carrier, Enterprise. Now, it being a tier 8 probably isn't the best way for me to go about testing the carrier re rework, but it's the only way I have to. I don't have any other carriers, and I'm not going to waste uh, free XP that I'm saving to use on the Alaska to um, grind up to a carrier line, especially after just getting a little bit of taste of it from the Enterprise at tier 8. So keep in mind, this is from a tier 8 carrier's perspective now. I, I understand tier 8 is hard but good god this is not balanced um when you get up tiered in any tier eight it's rough it's really really rough but you can usually still find a way to contribute to the match it is very hard to do that in a tier 8 carrier in a tier 10 game unless you are luckily placed in one of those tier 10 games where it's just a couple of tier 10s and the rest uh, are, of the ships are a bunch of tier 8s. But that has not been happening to me. I have played Enterprise for the past couple of um, hours. Uh, let's see, I started at like 8, uh, 8.30, 8.40ish. It's 10.50 right now. Granted, this is on a weekend, but... Still, I can take Bismarck out on a weekend and still have fun in a Tier 10 game. I can still take North Carolina out on a weekend and still have fun and still have a decent game. Now, Bismarck North Carolina, of course, some of the better Tier 8 battleships, but Enterprise before the rework was a very good Tier 8 carrier. After the re rework, however, it's crazy. It's... The amount, the, the not the amount, the lack of damage that I've been doing in in uh, in, in Enterprise, it's crazy, and I I understand I'm not a good carrier player. I am not a good carrier player, but I am not a good destroyer player either. And I can take the uh, Kozak or the um, the kit out and still do decent. I have not been able to do decent in the Enterprise except for a game where a North Carolina decided to ram me. Now. Yes, I'm still getting used to the, to the way the carriers are now, but there is so little margin for error when you're playing Tier 8 in a Tier 10 game with the carriers now. And I understand before that there was still that, you know, when you get up tiered in the Enterprise, you still had to be very careful with your planes. When you, get, when you got up tiered in any carrier, you have to be very careful with your planes. But now it's even more so. And yes, you do have unlimited planes, which I am actually pretty grateful for now. Especially playing tier 8 and tier 10 so much. But still, it's just like, I feel like I'm just sending my planes up to get shot down over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm doing maybe 4,000 damage with each attack run. Maybe. And I'm going after ships with very little AA, as you see in the... I'm, sh uh, I'm sure the, it, the clip should be to this point now. I'm not watching the clip while I'm recording the audio. I, I'm t specific, uh, specifically going after Yamato and Musashi because they don't have great AA. You know, Yemi has okay AA for tier 10. B Musashi barely has any AA, but I'm going after them and my planes are still getting shredded, which I, I, I don't get because, you know, I'm trying to dodge the flak as much as I can, but it feels like sometimes the flat clouds aren't appearing cr at it's not like it's like it's not synced up because like my planes would be flying around and then suddenly I, I just lose four of them out of nowhere, and I wasn't in a flat cloud. It's very confusing to me. I'm not sure if it's an issue. There's a desync issue or the animations aren't aren't set up rightly, but it feels like I'm just losing planes out of nowhere for no reason. Now sometimes I understand I'm flying through a freaking just storm of flak and yeah my planes should be shredded then, but a lot of times it's like I just lost four planes. How how did that happen? You know. I wasn't in any flat clouds, and it didn't look like there's a whole lot of AA fire coming at me, but it, they poof, they're gone. Which, in a rework where you're supposed to be able to dodge the flak and dodge the AA, 
um, it doesn't seem like it's working all that much. So the A8s definitely, uh, they, they have definitely buffed the AA since um, the panic that ensued after we, we after Noxer did his uh, AA testing video. So the AA is definitely stronger, so I'm not going to complain about the AA anymore, except for the sec the priority sector or, or whatever, which I don't even bother to use, honestly, and my, my AA still does fine. Um, other things, the, the control of the carrier is really annoying, um, you know, because, again, there's a game where North Carolina's come with the middle on two brothers, and there's no friendly ships around. Granted, it is a weekend, and I have my Enterprise slant up against the island on two brothers because the enemy team has flanked our uh, has flanked our our team on both sides, so I can't be out in the back because I'm going to be spotted real early. But then you got this Enterprise, this um, North Carolina camp coming up the middle on two brothers, and I can't do anything about him. I cannot kill him. I cannot sink him. Because he's in the channel, and the torpedo, the time to arm on the, to on the torpedoes ha has been increased. Uh, well, not the time to arm, the distance to arm, or the time to arm, however that works, has been increased. So I can't really do much against him. Uh, as you can see here, I try to do what I can, but you just don't have the strike power that you used to in the carriers. It's again, it's shifting to damage over time, which it seems to be a lot of the. Um, these new changes that World War that the war gaming is bringing to World of Warships, they're going for damage over time versus you know just doing globs of damage to en to enemy ships. You know you, you got the Hulk, the um the Arugamo, the Wusta, the British battle ship, ship line. They're all damage over time rather than you know just like taking out a huge chunk of health. Which thankfully it's still in the game because to me just taking out chunks of health. You know, with a with a good with a well placed salvo, it's more fun, more rewarding rather than just throwing a chi at something until its health slowly burns away. Um. Okay, that was where I was trying to make a point there, but that is another point that I want to talk about was the damage over time versus you know just punishing somebody somebody for messing up. Um. Yeah, the control, the autopilot is stupid. Um. I had an instance where I was in. Well, of course, I was in Enterprise. And I needed to run away, but there's ships coming. There was a uh, it was a Leon and a Baltimore were push not a Baltimore, a Leon and a Cleveland were pushing my position. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my carrier to turn around and dip out of here. And I'm gonna try to slow him down with my with my planes. You know, so that's in my mind a sound tactic. So I set my waypoint and I go take off on my planes, and I am trying to slow down the Leon and the um, Cleveland. To give my Enterprise time to run away. It's a 32 knot carrier. It's no problem. Except the autopilot decided the best choice was to just slam it into reverse and travel at a cool 10 knots, you know, slower than the than the freaking Langley to the waypoint, rather than busting a UE and getting out of there as fast as I as a, as you can. Now, in the year that we're in, 2019, the AI should be able to understand that it's faster to bust a U-turn. Than to just slam it into reverse. I shouldn't have to manually tell it to do that if you won't give me if you won't give me direct control of the carrier while um while I'm controlling the squadron. And I mean I get that I could have set a wait you know a waypoint to for it to manually do a U-turn, but I would have just sat there, wait for it to back up, and then plot the plot the waypoint out. Uh and I I did I didn't have time to do that. You don't have that time in the in this in the state of the uh, carrier rework now you you need your planes up and out so fast now to be effective you don't have time to really do anything like that um because like i said it's just you chipping away chipping away slowly over time rather than like it used to be with the huge you know torpedo runs and then the bombers you go you send all your squadron after one ship and take out a huge chunk of their health and even when I do get through to the <laughs> ships, I'm not doing that much damage, with, even with AP bombs against battleships. You know, it's a battleship. I get four pins on it, and for some reason, it only does 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 damage. It's, it's four AP bombs piercing the deck armor of a battleship. It should be doing more damage than that, in my opinion. So, and keep in mind, this is, again, I am not a, a, an expert carrier player. 
I am not an experienced carrier player, but as a new carrier player, this is infuriating. The constant up tiering and the um just the way that it's damage over time now, rather than sneaking your planes through all the tier ten um, cruisers and finally getting back to the battleships, the big juicy targets. Um, and when you finally get through and get your bombs off, you do like four or five thousand damage. It's it's not rewarding, especially at tier eight. And this is probably the the um, worst aspect of the carrier re rework. You know, uh, say if I wasn't a uh, an experienced World of Warships player, and I was just getting to the game, and you know, oh carriers, this looks cool. I can control my squadrons and stuff, and. I think I'll buy, you know, I'll, I'll grind a little bit in the lower tier and then I'll buy a, a tier 8. Um, and then this happens. It's annoying. <coughs> my apologies, my throat is a bit sore. It's annoying and it's... Because before, you could sneak your planes around and get at, you know, an unknowing target. And uh, even though, yeah, you probably lose most of your planes in the process, but you could, you could get a good salvo off and get like 10, 20,000 damage, you know? Now it's, if you're lucky enough to sneak around, you can maybe get 6,000 damage, 7,000 damage, because they're going to damage over time, rather than clumping damage, as I like to call it, as I like to call it, and I, I, I don't know. This, in my opinion, this needed more work, this feels rushed, um, you know, I, I get, I understand tier 8 is a hard tier, trust me, I've grinded up to all the tier 10 battleships, two tier 10 cruisers, and, well, most of the way to a tier 10 destroyer, and I understand that tier 8 is a rough place, but, I mean, sheesh, this feels bad. Tier 8 for, for, tier eight for the carriers definitely needed more work, it needed more balancing, and that's my impressions of it so far. And, you know, and I, I've been seeing you guys in Discord, you guys with tier 10 carriers, you guys have been apparently dominating and such. Um, and I, you know, more power to you if you're doing that well with it, because from my experience, it's, this needed more work, it needed more balancing, that's what I'm going to say for now. And on both sides of the spectrums, you needed more balancing in terms of, you know, clearer, uh, probably a better explanation of how the, eight new, the new AA system worked for the people that aren't playing battleships and the, I mean they aren't playing carriers and you definitely need some more tweaking on the carrier side because I was I was in a game with another tier 8 carrier on my team and even he could barely do anything his planes were being shredded just as badly as mine were and you know I'm it's not like I'm flying straight through the flag I'm trying to dodge where I can but I don't know it's I'm gonna keep trying guys I'm gonna keep trying this week over the weekend and see how much I improve, and I'll probably make an update video to this on uh, uh, make an update video to this on Monday. But as of right now, I'm it's I'm doing terrible. I'll be I'll just be honest. I'm doing terrible with it. It's not fun and it's infuriating. Hopefully, you know things will change, and either they'll release a hot fix for it, or you know maybe I'll get just get used to it and get through it, and we'll see. But that's my first impressions of that so far. So again, guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, let me know. Get any tips for me? Am I doing anything wrong? Which I'm, I'm sure I'm doing plenty wrong. Trust me. And I'm sure there's, there's going to be so, uh, someone, probably several someone's in the comments down below, telling me what I need to improve. But anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching, and I hope all of you have a wonderful Saturday. I hope I can see all of you guys in the next one.